Hi, I am My Life in Yellow. I am a street artist and spoken word poet. I slap stickers all over the streets everywhere I go, and I live in Two Bridges, Chinatown, New York. My Life in Yellow really came about um, 12 years ago, right before I was moving to New York City. I was creating a blog because everybody was asking about you're moving to New York, and I'm curious, like, what is it gonna be like? We live, I lived in Lancaster, Pennsylvania before I moved here. And so I started a blog, and right before I was about to create it on my WordPress, I'm sitting there like, what is the name of your blog? And I was going through a massive life transition, changing everything about um, what I had already been doing. And so I kind of just had this moment where I'm like, my life in yellow. And it really represents me choosing to live my life for me in the way that is meant to be for me. So it's like living in authenticity. I'm an extremely emotionally driven person. Always have been being bright, being seen, and not like fading into the background, which a lot of times I've done where I've like diminished myself and like hidden, where yellow is bright, it, you can't ignore it. It's one of the first colors we see when we're looking around a room and it can't be ignored. Um, whenever I'm writing poetry, I have to be alone, I can't have music playing, um, it has to be kind of like silence and I'm with myself. For me, I need aloneness and silence to create um, so that I'm not distracted because it's so easily, it's so easy to be pulled out of a moment. So if I'm alone with myself and in silence, I can really start to zone in and get more intimate with whatever it is that's kind of in my mind, whatever emotion that is, an experience that I had that I feel like I need to write about or get into. So a lot of times when I'm writing poetry, I'll be locked in my bedroom, I don't listen to music because um, that can get really distracting. And and I'm just there alone thinking about uh, life and with the art again it's easier for me to work when I'm alone um, I don't know if it's self-consciousness or anything like that but I can just dive in and not worry about anything other than what I'm doing in the paint on the canvas and I work out of my home mostly for um, convenience because you just never know when the desire to write or paint will happen and um, it's really nice to be able to have a space that I can just get up and work on it in that moment. We always have that pop of yellow in the taxi cabs and you know in the subways along the lines and it's it's part of our lives. 